is Jericho. Welcome back to my channel. So today, let me make sure I'm actually like, okay, I'm talking. So move my microphone over. So today I'm going to do a how I edit my Instagram photos. Um, I did a video on how I take my Instagram photos by myself and now I'm going to do a video on how I edit my photos. Um, this is hair. So it's really simple and easy. Like I don't do anything spectacular to my photos like I'm not an expert at photoshopping like there's some people who just are so good and they make their photos look so good and I'm just like Lord like teach me how to do this but at the same time it's like you know it's a learning thing and I always use the same few apps so let me get One thing I use though to to edit my photos is a stylus pen because it just makes things so much easier than using your finger because you can get into little spaces a lot, smaller spaces. So the first photo, I'm, I'm going to do two pictures. The first one I'm going to do is just going to be a um, like an actual face picture and the second one I'm going to do will be um, like a picture with the background and stuff so you guys can see. I'm trying to find one because... I feel like I pretty much edited all these pictures in here. And once I edit pictures, I always delete the other ones so that there's just not like tons of pictures in my phone because my phone is full of pictures. So after I edit them, I always delete the original because it's just too many. So I really need to find one that I haven't edited yet. Okay, so I found one. So let me go ahead and screen record so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm just, I have an iPhone 8 Plus if anyone was wondering. So um are we recording is the screen okay so the screen's recording right now so um i'm just gonna edit this picture here this is this is gonna be a picture where i edit the background there's not much that you can edit here there's not much to edit here at all um but these are the few apps okay let me start over <laughs> so the apps that i use the most let me go and show y'all so i have an album called photo the albums i use the the ones i use the most are i use snapseed Facetune 2 and then I have Lightroom on here but I don't really use that and I use retouch retouch is an app you can use like if you have people in the background of your photos and you want to delete them out or any type of objects in your photos that you want to delete out you can delete out with retouch I heard you can do that now on Facetune but I haven't used it on Facetune yet I already paid money for retouch so I'm just going to use the retouch app I don't really need to learn how to do it in Facetune unless I just happen to figure it out but I always go to Facetune so here's this one picture I edited it in Facetune. I already edited it, so um, I probably edit it again. Well, I don't even think, like I said, I don't, I don't think I have the original anymore. So anyway, so what I do is I go here, go to my recents. As you can see, I took a bunch of pictures today that I need to edit. Um, so I'm gonna edit. Where is that? Put that photo go? This one. So I don't do much editing, you guys. Like. Like I said, I'm not an expert <laughs> at all, but people always be like, your photos look so good. So the first thing I always like to do is whiten my background. Like if I'm standing in front of a white wall of some sort, I have to edit and make my background a lot whiter because I love a crisp white background. It just looks so good. So I always go to retouch and then go to whiten. And like this is where a stylus pen comes in handy. So I just whiten the background. Once you start whitening, this little bar down here pops up. So I always bring mine up all the way so I can see oops, where I'm whitening. Because um, it just makes it easier to tell where you are. As you can see. So I'm just whitening that. Like I'm not going to keep it this white. But this is just so I can see where I'm whitening. So I don't whiten something that I don't want. That I don't want. And when I go over here, I just I just try and like... Why do I always do that? And go this way and try to get all of that. And this little corner over here, I'm gonna end up cropping out, so that doesn't even really matter. So this is how it will look white. So this is before, this is after. So actually, when it's that white, it looks okay, but I'll bring it down just a little bit because I don't want it to look too fake. But I love a crisp white background. I don't know why, I just really do. So then I'll hit OK. Now one thing I've learned from doing Facetune is you never just want to go right into another category. Like if I'm in retouch, I don't want to go to whiten and then smooth before hitting that check mark because if you mess up something, you got to start all the way over. So I always like to do that. That way if I need to hit this back button, it'll just do what I just did and that's it. So um, 
what I also like to do, um, I also like to, if I need to whiten my eyes, I do. I really don't in this picture, so I'm not going to touch it. But I also like to add black to the lashes. Um, especially, like, you can see my lashes here. Sometimes I care, sometimes I don't, because I know I can just edit it in pictures. But like, if I'm going, going somewhere, I try and make this look a little bit better, but sometimes I just can't get it. So I'll go ahead and make that black. So I just made that a little bit darker. And then I'll do the same on this eye. And you can change like the intensity of it. Like as you can see, it's really black. And then I can make it just like that. So it's not too, too black. And then I'll be done. No need to whiten my eyes. They already look white, so I don't need to do that. Um, I also like to do a little bit of skin smoothing. Just a little bit. Um, and I just like run my, my stylus over it. Just like barely. My, this isn't even really a close-up of my face, so I really didn't even need to really use smooth, but I like to use it just a little bit. Um, I also have some brown under my eyes, which does not look brown whatsoever. It looks purple. So I like to do go to the little picker tool, and it, it already ended up where I needed to be. Okay, so, um, well, hold on, let me make sure. So I want it to be that. So then I think I go to paint. Yeah, then I go to paint or go to tone. And then I can um, color it in to make this color pop some more. So you can see the difference. Let me back out. I also got some on my face, so I need to erase that. Okay, and I love to do this little tool here so I can see if I messed up on anything. So I'll add like a little bit there and then I'll add a little bit on this eye and then use this tool here to see if I accidentally got somewhere which I did so I need to erase it off my eyeball because there's no need for it to be there. So there's that so we just add a little bit of definition to my eyes. Now if I have on any type of jewelry or something that I want to stand out like this watch even though it's not really the main focus of this picture. I like to go to retouch and then go to details and I'll just like go over details so it stands out a little bit more that's all like I'll even do my wedding ring sometimes but I'm getting a new wedding ring so this I don't even know why I did that but um, I like to do that and like I said I'm going to crop it because I don't want the edge of the bed into there so I'm just gonna crop it until about here crop it um, I also like to go on with vibrancy a little bit like if I have plants or photo plants in my photos or anything that I want to pop I like to go in with vibrance but I'm not gonna do that for this because this rose gold uh, kimono that I'm wearing stands out already so if there's nothing else to do um, there's I don't have to do anything to my hair on this um, don't have to do anything to my eyebrows I also like to go into my lips and go back to the whiten tool and go over any part that's shiny because it just makes your lips shine some more and also I like to go over any highlighted areas with the whiten tool you just gotta be careful with this though because you can really screw up if you're not careful so that's how it looks now so before after before after um, if my highlighter was showing in this picture I would go over it but with the way my head is positioned you really can't see it anyway so um, I really am pretty basically done with this picture so I always like to go into filters and just go through the filters lately though with this outfit I've been liking to use the filter called it's under gossip I think it is yeah it's the first one I don't know what it is but I really like how it looks with this filter it's the first filter under gossip so I'll hit the check mark and then I'll hit save so that is it you guys that's it for this picture this is before this is after before after so i don't know what it is about that filter but it just really makes shoot i just dropped my pen it just really makes everything just stand out and it just makes the colors look more not vibrant but they just kind of just stand out more like you can clearly see the difference by what i'm doing so i just really like that i don't know it's just i don't know why i just really like how it looks so uh, another app I like to use is Snapseed. So I'll show you guys really quick what I use in Snapseed. Um, this app is good because I like this app because it modifies the original photos. So instead of having the original photo plus the picture that you just edited like Facetune, this will completely just keep one photo. So 
let me see if I can find one really quick that um, I might have to go to my I may have to go to my trash because I really don't think I have anything in here anymore let me see recently deleted um, so yeah I'm gonna go through one of these something I already edited already and just re-edit it if I can find one okay so I edited this picture already so let me go ahead and recover this recover photo and go back to photos I don't know where it just went let me see if I can find it okay so this is the original this is the edited version so this is what it looked like originally this is what it looked like after I edited it. So I don't use Snapseed a lot, but I'm just getting this so you guys can see what I use it for. Um, if I want to be lazy and not, um, if it, whenever I want to be lazy and I don't feel like going over with the smooth tool, I'll just use Snapseed to do that. So I got to find the picture though. Let me... Ah, here it is. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go to tools, go to portrait, and it'll smooth my skin like it smooths it just that fast but it only smooths your face so if your body needs to be smooth you still need to do that in facetune so it already smooth there's smooth one and smooth two smooth two is a little too smooth for me i know there's some makeup artists and stuff and people on youtube and instagram that uh, like to make their face super smooth the way it look like butter and that's cool and all but it doesn't look that good on me so um so i just do smooth one anything else i'll do so i do like that about snapseed you could do brightness contrast saturation and structure so you can just do like certain areas of the photo based on where it is so i do like that tool only other tools i ever use sometimes is tune image oh my god oh my god so you can use brightness contrast saturation ambience highlights shadows so i like ambience um sometimes i use that but you, obviously you can't use too much of it um highlights you know it'll make stuff highlighted don't really use that a lot so like i said i don't really use snapseed to really edit the the basic app that i use is facetune too like that's all i ever really use but i'm just showing you guys what you can do on here anything else i don't really use like drama there's you know there's different settings you can use just to put some art to your photos so that's all i really use with facetune is just for the portrait and then you can export and what I was telling you guys about earlier, you can save as a copy, which is what most photo app, photo apps do. They just save a copy or you can just save, which was just modify the original photo. So I always do that. And it's going to say, do you want to allow Snapseed to modify this photo? I always hit modify. That way it'll just modify that photo. So I don't have tons of different photos, you know, to go through and modify and re. So now, as you can see, now the skin is smooth. Um, and there's not like 15 million tons of pictures of the same picture from me editing it. So this will be the last one I edit. So now I'll go into Facetune 2 again. Like I said, this is the main app that I use. And I'll locate the picture. This is it here. So again, you can see like my background is not white like I like it to be. So first thing I normally do is go and retouch, go to whiten. And I'll start whitening it. Turn it up so I can see what I'm doing. And I'll just go around and whiten everything up. I don't know what it is, but just whitening your backgrounds just really make your photos look bright and crisp. And it just it just makes everything look really good. So I have this outlet on the wall back here. I'll show you guys that one app so you can remove that. So that's my background being whitened. As you can see, it just makes a huge difference. And this looks good on your Instagram too. It's very aesthetic looking. So I love to use that. And then I'll just lower it a little bit. So that's what I do for that. Now my wig was not the best in this picture. Um, I could probably fix that, but I don't really, I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to that kind of stuff. So it is what it is. So then I'll smooth my skin just to make it even with my face, and I don't go over it a lot. That's literally it. Um, like I said, this is really bothering me. So let me see if I can try and fix this. I don't know how people be fixing their wigs in their photos, but I don't know what I'm doing. So. We're just going to see what happens. Like, I feel like it's going to look like trash, me trying to do it. 
So I'm just slowly using. So this is before, this is after. So you, I, you can still see it. So like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. It looks better, but whatever. Um, I'm just gonna be done with that. And I think people go over it with smooth. I don't know. We're just, I'm, I'm experimenting at this point because I really don't know. I've never done this before, y'all. So I don't know. Okay, smooth worked a little bit. Whatever. So another thing I like to do is go in. Like I said, my eyes really don't need to whiten them, but I do like to go in the detail and detail my eyes. I really like my eyes to stand out in my pictures because I love my eyes. Um, don't need to really whiten anything. Don't need to really go in with any black on the lash line because you can't see it. Um, and I have some shine going up, up here, so I like to go into matte and just dull that down a little bit. So as you can see, that's done. So my highlighters, the, all the highlighted points of my face that are showing up white, I'm gonna go into the whiten tool again and just whiten it all. So my lips, tip of my nose, and a little bit on my highlighter because my highlighter technically isn't white, it's gold. So I'll just do just a little bit, just like that. Cause you want the, you want your highlighter to stand out. Like, ooh, I gotta get off my ankle. Sorry y'all. You want your highlighter to stand out, but you don't want it to be like so blinding to where it looks crazy. So that's really all I need to do to this picture. Um, I don't know how people be editing their makeup and stuff. Like I don't, I don't know how to do any of that. Um, but then I'll go to filters and I'll just go through and see which ones I like. But I'm gonna go to gossip cause I didn't use gossip with this one. So I'm really kind of, See, I don't know what it is about gossip, but look how, this is the before, this is the after. Oh, it just makes every picture look so good. I'm really gonna be using this filter with like all my pictures from now on because it just looks, it looks that good. Um, so now I'm gonna save the picture and I'm gonna take it to this one app I told you guys about called Retouch to show you how I can remove that outlet. I didn't remove it in the original picture, but I'm just gonna show you that you can, you can remove just about anything because I don't want to remove this and then still have black cord. I'm gonna try to remove all of it. So you pull it open and you go to object removal. And this is also another good thing to have a stylus pen so you can be specific. So you can trace what you don't want in the photo. I'm just gonna go along the line and just see what happens. So I'm just gonna stop it there. And then you hit go and it's gone that quick. So now it looks weird because you have a cord coming out of nowhere, but let me see if I can get rid of that. I don't know how well that's gonna work. Okay, there it is. So it's gone. So it took the outlet off the wall. It's really not a big deal. The outlet really wasn't killing the photo, but if you have something in your photo that you like, ew, you can just go ahead and just do that. So now it just looks a little bit more cleaner over there. Then I'll hit this tool here. And this also has modify original. So I'm gonna modify the original and i am done so that is the picture you guys i think it no it's saved up here okay where did it go so this is what the picture looks like doesn't that just look so much more bright and inviting and refreshing like that is a great instagram picture right there i wish i had used this filter on the original but i didn't and i'm regretting it now but that's literally it so i do the same thing for all my photos here's a few others i've edited already um I edited the white as you can see like the white is really white I edited a little bit on my cheekbones and I used that filter from gossip <laughs> I love that I added a little bit of like shine on my purse and that's really all I did to this picture I didn't really I smoothed my skin just a little but not too much as you can see there's still a pimple there I don't mind a few imperfections okay like no one's skin is perfect no one has just smooth butter skin like so there's a perfection imperfection here and there like i'm not tripping off of it it's, it it really is what it is so i did the same thing to this picture super white background i did went over my highlighter just a little went over my lower lash line a little bit i didn't do anything to my purse because it wasn't already shining i just basically enhanced what's already popping out to me in the photo so that's really all you got to do um i did the same thing with this picture which is not on Instagram yet. I haven't put it on Instagram yet. So that's literally it, you guys. That's how I edit my photos. I can end this screen real quick. But that is it for this video. So I hope this gave you some basic um, editing tips. Like maybe as I learn more, I'll get back on here and do a different video on how to edit like more, you know, 
you know, do some more editing, but pretty much everybody edit their photos the same way, just the basic tools. So if this video was helpful, I hope you guys thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, which is jerica.sincere. Go ahead and give me a follow, leave a comment, let me know that you came here from YouTube. But that is it. So I thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day.